welcome to Floss Tube number 42. I'm Linda and this is my channel and it's mainly about cross stitching. It is the 20th of September of 2021. Um, yeah, let's start talking cross stitching. Let me bring my planner um, I've been writing down a little bit so I won't forget what I want to say. So uh, first off, I want to say thank you to, to start with three people, three ladies who has been buying me coffees and giving me support for the channel. And it is Diana and it is Joe's and I think she pronounced it Anne or Anne. Uh, I hope I pronounced all your names correctly. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, it is so appreciated. I don't feel worthy whatsoever, uh, but I, I'm so grateful that you guys believe in me and my channel. So thank you very much. Now, the fourth per person I want to say thank you to is Becca, or Rebecca is her real name. But on Flosstube, she, she's stitching, stitching Becca, or is it Stitchy Becca? It's been a while she, since she put out a video. Stitching Becca, and she's also from Sweden. She was my first like Swedish uh, cross stitch pal or floss tube friend and in this big big world our ways crossed and we met for the first time first and only time so far <laughs> last year just it's just a year ago on our on a stitch retreat in Sweden but she sent me some stitchy kindness um, that was the stitch retreat this weekend and I couldn't participate. Um, so she was supposed to bring the gift there, but then she found out that I wasn't coming. So she sent it and it's one of her homemade, her handmade project bags. And I just love it. And there is this little charm here and it is foxes and she told me in her card that when she saw this fabric she was thinking about Outlander and she was thinking well Linda loves Outlander just as much as she does so she wanted to make this for me and she made this very sweet card I think he, she even colored that herself. Wow. And she also surprised me with my own <laughs> Outlander. Um, sorry for the glare. I'm going to take it out. Outlander needle minder. Can you even? Oh. Thank you very much, Becca. I do not deserve this at all. And I need to find something special to have in here. I wanted, my first thought was to have my uh, Outlander Chatelaine, but I think it might be too small for that. Um, but I guess I could, you know, put, I usually print out like some of the papers. Um, like the color keys and stuff for the shell lane. So I could put that, put that, but I'm not sure. I need to find something special, but it looks so pretty. So, oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Let's have a sip. Also, <clears throat> it's not like, uh, 
stitchy kindness. In a way, it's stitchy kindness because another Swedish girl uh, called Sandy, she's also on Floss too. I've never met her, but I kind of know her through Instagram. And she reached out when she watched my Mirabilia stash and she had an out of print Mirabilia. It's this one. It is a Rose Arbor, the MD48. And she asked me if I had anything to switch. And I did have a extra copy of a Mirabilia, one of the mermaids. Um, and I said, well, that I have this to, to swap, switch with you. And she wanted to do that. So it is stitchy kindness, really. Uh, so thank you very much, Sandra, Sandy. Um, it is very, very much appreciated. And she was so kindly to, <clears throat> to even add the Krennic, which is used for the pattern. Because as we all know, some of the Krennics are getting pretty hard to get hold of. So that was so kind of her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, yeah, it means a lot when you guys reach out and um, it's very sweet of you guys. So that's that. So that's Stitchy Kindness. Um, so we are going to head over to my whips. It has only been two weeks, but it feels like it has been ages. And I think it is because I have stitched on quite a lot of things. <clears throat> I have stitched on a total of one, two, six things in three weeks. I have seriously been doing stitch what you want whenever you want, all right? And it is sampler September, so I had focus on samplers. But first of all, uh, we <clears throat> passed the nine 11th no the 11th of September it was a Saturday a lot of all the cross stitchers out there were stitching on something to remember this horrible day uh, I joined the hashtag um, remember 911 cell and the NYC stitch along um, I was working on the 11th of September, so I knew I would have very little time that day to stitch. So I decided to, to join early in the week because I wanted to give my lady of the flag, the Mirabilia, some good time. So I have stitched on her. This was a unicorn piece for me for a while. Um, I got her at a okay price, um, and I actually never thought I was going to stitch her. I thought she was going to be very expensive to kit up, but she wasn't, and I just decided I will kit her up for 9-11. And I will have to reach down on the floor to grab the project bag. <clears throat> so I stitched on her for like three evenings. Um, sorry. For three evenings. And I have decided to stitch her on 32 count um, 
chalk board linen. <clears throat> because I want that dress to, and the beads and her head and skin, I want her to really pop. Uh, and I think I made a good choice. Um, I have just stitched a little part of her dress. I had to restart in the middle because I make working copies and I couldn't see the overlapping uh, rows very well. So I miscounted, but so I had to restart, but I'm very pleased. So not a lot of progress, but a little bit. And what surprises me most is that I have two Mirabilias running and I have told myself always just one Mirabilia at a time, but it was a special occasion. I did this and I think she will rest until next year. Yes, 32 count linen. It's not hand dyed or anything. Um, using two threads over two. Um, yeah. And I have her in this kind of project bags. I have lots of them. They're cheap on Swedish, Swedish Amazon at least. So that was that. Then I was stitching on, I think for just one day when I had, I think it was Friday when I was off work before the weekend. And I just wanted to, to get some heaven and earth stitching, you know, so I did that. not so smooth sometimes I wish I had like a table in front of me so I could just grab stuff in front of me but you know you have to work with what you have This is what I've done so far. I've been working. I think I made a stitch along, right? I think so. I think I stitched about 1,300 stitches. So I need to finish this part and these, this line down here. That's the goal of the year. So I need to, to work on this soon. Um, it is 25 count. I'm stitching the super sized max colors. It is charted by heaven and earth, but the designer, you know, the artist is Amy Stewart. Um, yeah. And yeah, the goal is to finish this part here because then I can move the Q-snap. So. I love this piece. I think I could stitch on this like every day for a very long time, but I have so many other things I want to stitch. So yeah, so that's that. And yeah, you want to see the back? <laughs> yeah, this is how it looks. A little bit messy, but not, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. Do I need to say something else about this? I don't think so. This is also in one of these bags. And when I have it in a Q-snap, I have, I use the 11 by 11 Q-snap. I like that for these full coverage pieces. I can't, 
unfortunately lock the the project bag so that was that I need more, a lot of coffee today. I don't know why. Then, after that, why did I decide to do that? Because I got my fabric from XU Designs and I had all the threads from Casa Sanina. So, it was time to start my first Plum Street sampler. Uh, it's the the stack series I just love that series it's so fun it's cute and fun <laughs> and they're so small um, I will show you This is goat load and I started with goat load because my daughter loves goats. She loves them. <laughs> so they're very small, tiny, teeny, and I'm using the called for threads, the fancy threads. Um, in the future, I think I'm going to switch out weak style works and maybe just go with um, with DMs with DMC. Excuse me, because I learned something new about that. But so, and I learned. You know, I did have a little bit bit of bad luck. So this is XU. The, no, this is my progress. And oh, fabric from XU Designs smells so nice. Sweet and nice. Oh, it's so cute. So, so, so cute. Love it. And you can see that the little goat here, he's difficult to see, right? He doesn't really show. Um, it called for parchment, uh, Wix Dye Works parchment. And the fabric from XU Designs is old cheap. It's 36 count old cheap. And first I thought it was you know, perfect. I like that little, that, uh, I, th I think it's like a little bit primitive, old feeling to that color. But when I stitched with parchment on this, the goat disappeared. I swear, I put out pictures on Instagram and people couldn't see that I, there was actually a stitch goat. So I wasn't happy, happy about that. I then took a darker, this dark thread and started backstitching and I didn't like that. So I frogged it. And then I took the call for DMC thread, which was 822. Sometimes I just make it so hard for myself, you know. So DMC 822 and the Wix Dye Works parchment. And in my eyes, they are very much the same. So just that and thinking about the story. I don't know the whole story, but the story I found out about Wix Dye Works, I'm like, you know, why buy expensive wig style works when you can get, I'm not saying that DMC is not expensive because it is in Europe, but it is a bit cheaper. So I think I will just replace it in the future. I don't know. Um, anyway, 
I didn't like that either. So I took my, um, what do you call that? I have that book from DMC with all the threads in and not just printed, but where there's actually thread in it. So I looked for a lighter uh, shade, I guess it's called, of that. So that gave me 3866. So I, now in the camera view, yeah, he's disappearing a little bit, but you know, you can see that there is a goat. So I went with that. I'm happy with that. <clears throat> But some, someone over at Instagram gave me a great idea. I might restitch this. Um, she said, you, you know, you could use a whisper thread. And I'm like, yeah. Yes, 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 I could. I've never stitched with whisper, but I will. And imagine, yes. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Not this time, but you know, I might, you know, test stitch it and see how, how it goes. So Plum Street samplers, the stack series, goat load. Um, I stitched on it for a few days. It was easy, fast stitching. I could have finished this, but I didn't want to <laughs> because when I finish it, I need to FFO it because that's why I also want to stitch the small, small ones. So yeah, we'll just leave it at that for now. <clears throat> and and nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, so that's that. What's next? Mm -hmm. Oh, and it, it wasn't just Weeks Dye Works. Uh, it's also um, color... Ah, classic, classic color works. Yes, and then uh, Celia on Instagram. This is Celia. I think it's Celia. It's a Norwegian uh, lady. Uh, she was having a birthday mm -mm -mm, someday. She was having a birthday, and she was starting the North American mammals for her birthday and I was like I finally have a good reason to start my North American mammals so I did on her birthday to stitch you know for her birthday and celebrate her um, so I did that I did not get a lot of progress It is so little that you won't even kind of notice. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I think it's like 200 stitches. Yeah. Very little. And I'm, I'm going to um, strictly, you know, I'm going to stitch diagonal stitching again. I'm going to try it again, but I'm going to do, go, go over and check out needle bug. Uh, she has two videos showing how she stitches diagonal stitching. And the first one was like, you don't jump to a, another diagonal whatsoever. But the last one she showed, it's like when uh, she finished down, she stitches, she picks the first symbol in that diagonal and she stitches that the through the whole diagonal and if she has thread left and there are stitches in the next diagonal she starts stitching that symbol in the next diagonal from the bottom and up so that's how i'm going to do it 
She has great uh, tutorials on how she does that. So if you're interested, is interesting, interested in that, head over to Needlebug. Yeah. So not a lot. It's super sized, max colors. You know me. Uh, the artist is Ciro Manchetti, and the uh, it's a heaven and earth design, right? So it was like in the evening for, I don't know, an hour or two. It can't be an hour. I can't stitch 200 stitches in an hour, but it was like almost panicking. I was like, I need to start this for her birthday, you know, surging the edges. Oh, oh, yeah. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys know what happened to this fabric, this 25 even weave. I had bought a big piece from Casa Zanina and I was like, it's going to be perfect. I just need to cut it in half and then I have fabric for two supersized projects. And I measured and I looked and I folded it and I was like, start cutting and I was cutting and cutting and cutting and I was like how much am I going to cut and then I realized <laughs> I have cut it you know on the wrong way but you guys over at Instagram are so <laughs> positive and supportive so you were all like well that's just Great, now you have fabric for two new starts. Not super sized, but that's okay. Regular or minis are just as great. So I'm, I'm staying positive, yeah. <laughs> I'm not supposed to start any more hates. They, they are way too expensive buying threads in Europe. I can't afford that, so I need to stop. Uh, and on the other hand, I want progress. Anyway. Let's move on. The next one is, um, yes, I joined a mystery cell from Casa Zanina, the Italian uh, cross stitch. No, it's not only cross stitch, it's the, the Italian crafting store. <clears throat> so I don't have a picture to show you. I don't know how it's going to look like. I know that it's called Dead and Breakfast. Very funny. Uh, it is a small one. It's coming out in three parts and it's going to be like 89 times 126 stitches. And I'm like stitching a thread every morning or every day. I will just go slow. So this is just 004 color. It's a gray color. And I'm doing it on a hand dyed Ada. Um, and the Ada is so soft and I love to stitch on this. How do I make my pre-gridded Ada this soft? I need to know that because then I would like to stitch more full coverage pieces on Ada and I'm not supposed to start any new, so never mind. Um, yes, a Halloween style mystery. Uh, the Italian store, this is like one of my main stores I order from in Europe because I don't have to pay, you know, to tax and stuff. And they have a lot of things. Um, and I also buy from Burui Koen. It's a Swedish store and Burui Hopen, not so much, but sometimes. And now I have also found the Kostic Boutique in Holland, which are great. So. I'm trying to stay within the European Union, you know. Um, but let's back, let's back up to this. So Ada, and it's 16 count. And I'm like, what, 16 count? That's a 32 count. And I think that, can I, yeah. The coverage is really nice. So I wonder if it is, yeah, 
hand dyed and maybe it has shrunken a little bit so it gives me that better coverage because it felt like almost like a 36 count but I don't know I'm no expert but that's what I've been stitching on too and the needle minder I made myself last year on my stitch retreat on my not mine but you know the stitch retreat I went to that's that coffee and I have a finish I have I have a finish sampler September and I was like I'm going to stitch on my Ann Morrison it's the cell that started on the 5th of December 3rd or 5th of December last year and we've been stitching on it all year I stitch on it on in the beginning of the year and then I got bored and I picked it up now in September and I finished it today and I was like there is no floss tube until I am done I'm very proud of myself I'm very very pleased it is so beautiful and I cannot believe that I have a finish in 2021 I'm amazed I am I don't know maybe I should present it in this <clears throat> I don't want to wrinkle it or anything. This is my Anne Morrison. Isn't she pretty? She it's charted, reproduced by Hands Across the Sea samplers. And I'm stitching it on, I've stitched it on 46 count linen. Oh my God, what a challenge. It was difficult. This area, this heart, these two, but especially this heart, that was a challenge. It's Algerian eyelets and I needed to use my magnifying glass. Um, and so it's eyelets, eyelets. it's cross stitch over two uh, and it's the long stitches or running stitches. What do you ca call it? It's like almost back stitching here on those. And I used the soy 103 silks um, which I enjoyed to stitch with. They were really nice. Um, but this was a challenge. And not because the stitching was difficult, because it was on 46 count. But I'm very proud. And I tried to iron it. I think I'm pretty pleased with how it looks. Some people, they use something to spray on. And it's so difficult when it's in like, American and English terms and we don't have the same in Sweden, you know, the name. So it's so difficult to um, to know what to get, you know, what to buy. I don't know. But since, you know, it is very expensive to, to frame at a, you know, professional framer. And I guess cross-stitching in Sweden isn't like you know, something that everyone does. So I don't know if we have like one framer in the area, which is not even in our town. We have to go to Gothenburg, which is like a way to drive. Um, and I don't know if they're good or I don't know if I want to pay. I don't know, I guess it would be a couple of $200 for, for it at least. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very keen on, is that how you say it? I would, um, I would really like to learn to lace my project. And I think if I, 
you know, get the hang of that, I think, you know, I would be able to, to do that and frame it myself. Um, so that is the goal to, to lace it and frame it myself, but it's not going to happen now. It's not going to happen for a while. Um, but that's that. Um, and now I can join the draw of the price for a real antique sampler. But we're a lot of people who, who's in the draws. But if you don't try, you're never going to win, right? So that's my whips and my finish. Yes. And now I can just hear, you know, Pam and Steph's, you know, happy finishes, everyone. Or, you know, the whip. Yeah. So. What is next? I need to check my book. Um, mm, mm, mm. I want to do give a, a few shout outs. I don't think I did that last time. I don't remember. Uh, but first of all, uh, we all know Betsy Clagans and we all know Brenda and the Serial Stitcher. I hope you do um, anyway. You know, Betsy is just the most crazy lady and she's so much fun. And, you know, Brenda and now I can't, Brenda and, oh, you know, I'm so used to calling her, you know, the serial starter. I'm sorry, uh, but they're so enabling and they're so lovely. But Brenda and... Oh, Betsy are having some health issues and we need to give them love and we need to send them happy thoughts and get well thoughts. So head over to their channels and give them some love and some prayers if you are the kind of person who prays, a kind of person, if you're, yeah, if you're the, I don't know how you say it, but... Um, so please do that. Now, to uh, two shout outs. Uh, I have found a channel a, way, a while back. Her name is Tina Stitches. And she, she stitches all kinds of stuff. Uh, full coverage, marabillias. She, I know she's in this, uh, the magazine Stitch Along group, which is Seasook. Uh, you know runs and there is just something about Tina which makes me you know it's not laugh but she, you know she's so laid back and cool and she's just taking stuff slow and you know you hear the dog uh, in the background you hear the family and I really enjoy her channel so I think she's under a thousand subscribers, but head over to her channel. Uh, she, in her last episode, she unboxed, I think it was an autumn, no, the cozy stitch box, something like that from Black Needle Society, maybe. Oh, I didn't do my homework, but I highly recommend her channel if you just want to enjoy. <laughs> and I found out about, I, I know there is a lot of people out there already who know about D. Uh, I know, I'm pretty sure you guys know about her through Bendy Stitches channel, but her name is D's 20 Stitches. Yeah, D's 20 Stitches. And oh my God, what a person. I mean... you guys need to head over and watch her floss too. She has three episodes and she's very educating. Um, I think most of you have seen most of you. I don't know. I don't know what you people look watch floss too, but it seems like most of us watch, you know, the big floss tubers and bandy stitches. 
bendy stitchy stitchy bendy <laughs> oh my god i'm horrible a lot of people watches our channel and this summer when it was pride month uh these 20 stitches and her friend released the trans unicorn tapestry so you might know about d already but i'm shouting her out and she, when i watched looked the last time she hadn't hit a thousand and she needs to we need her to hit over a thousand so hit over there um yes information i learned that ink circles and heaven earth designs instagram accounts were hacked a while ago it's nothing very new but a month back maybe um and i'm just like giving you the information that if you haven't gotten any updates from their old accounts you need to look them up again right um i know heaven and earth's IG, uh, Instagram account is called Heaven Earth Designs Inc. I think, and it's Michelle uh, Sayeda who is like the owner of, of it. So you will see that that's the correct one. And Ink Circles, I don't remember the new name, but you you will find it if you search on Instagram. Um. So a little bit of uh, plans. So what are my plans for, you know, the coming two weeks? Um, we still have 10 days to go on Sampler September. So I'm going to continue and honor that because I don't usually, you know, I don't stitch that much on my samplers and they're small samplers. So like Ann Morrison, it's easy easy to finish them quite fast if you're like consistent so <clears throat> i will know now since i'm finished with Anne morrison i will now start or continue on my jane hearth 1868 it's a little gem and I love this one. I just love the colors and the flower. And I can't wait to get to the house because I'm so curious on how it is to stitch a house. Yeah, so typical. And this is the progress I have so far. On this. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm stitching this on 40 count. And I'm using the soy dial share silk threads. So the border is finished. And like the big flower is done. I need to head, head down to the other flowers. So I think I will just switch over to that. And stitch on it for a little while. And um, I need to continue on my goal which is 21,000 stitches in 21 and I'm stitching on soft as steel she's here and I have like 732 stitches to go to reach the goal I mean come on I will do that in a weekday I'm stitching you know background so I need to do that. So that's also like a goal. I don't know how much of all this I'm going to do. I'm going to do like a little bit, stitch what you want whenever you want. Uh, but still kind of these things are the stuffs I want to stitch. And also, you know, if I just scream super sized max colors, I'm heading over to Once Upon a Fairy Tale because... I want to finish that little section. So, because then I don't feel like I have to stitch on that. I don't have to do that now either, but in my head, I've set that goal. I want to reach the goal. 
And at the same time, when I reach that goal, I can give so many of the other full coverage pieces more love. It, it feels like, you know, I just want to do that. Anyway, I'm going to continue on the goat load. I want to finish it, of course, but still I don't <laughs> because then I have to fully finish it. And I want to finish it like as a um, kind of a ornament. Um, and then I'm continuing with the mystery Halloween cell from Casa Sanina. So those are the goals. Um, yeah, so that's that. And before haul, you know, uh, last episode, uh, I reached 2000 K subscribers, which is just whew, over, over, overwhelming. I cannot believe it. <clears throat> and I would like to have like lots of giveaways, but, um, you know, uh, money's money and, uh, there is a lot of stuff coming up, which I need to prioritize. So I will as usually, but I know all of you love heaven and earth. So I will give away a heaven and earth pattern. Um, and, um, you know, when uh, things has calmed down a little bit, you know, I can just do another giveaway. I'm getting close to two years floss tubing also. Uh, so yeah, I feel a little bit bad about that. I would like to give a lot more, but uh, this is what we'll have to do. Um, I can give a little bit now, but I can give um, more. I have some plans uh, for some upcoming giveaway, um, but you know, I know you guys love heaven and earth patterns, so I'm giving one of those away. Um, and I want you to use the word Halloween because we're getting close to Halloween. Um, I want you to tell me what you like the most about Halloween. We don't have Halloween in Sweden, but I love Halloween. It's just the theme. I wish we had a lot more Halloween in Sweden because I just, I find it, I, I think I like that more than Christmas. Just the stitching and everything. Um, so use the word Halloween. Don't use the word win or giveaway. Um, yeah, I guess, I don't know if you have to be 18 to give me your email address so I can send the pattern to you. Um, but you need to be a subscriber to my channel and you need to have the subscription public. It's something you do in the, um, the word I always forget, the settings. You need to go there and set your your subscri so subscriptions to public. Otherwise I won't see it. And now they have YouTube have changed. So when you comment on this video, I can see if your subscription is public and it has to be that. So that is like, I want to give to my subscribers who brought me to, to 2K. So I hope you understand that. Um, so use the word Halloween, H A W -L, L O W W E N, Halloween. Um, so yeah, we can always use more patterns. You guys, who was that? It was a, a floss tube channel I watched because I watched a lot of floss tube lately uh someone talked about this no smoking randall spangler is no smoking how the you know the dragon is holding his nose trying you know the smoke to not you know get out and he's so cute and i actually think that one ex exists as a super pattern super sized 
Yeah, you know me. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm going to show you. Um, it's not all my haul. I'm going to show you some haul. Um, so let's get started so we can, you know, end things. Can I put it there? So it's just my computer starting up. I got some 32 count yellowish linen. What I don't like about this, I didn't know. It's very stiff. Maybe it is, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm no expert, I'm still learning, uh, but I think that Swaggart, Witchelt, all these different, um, what do you call it, producers, you know, their linen feels different, I guess. And I don't know why this is so stiff, but it's going to be very interesting to stitch on it. But I think it was like half price. So I got a big piece and I thought it was very neutral, looks very white here, but um, it is like a creamy yellow. So, but if, if uh, some of you know why this linen is so stiff it's very hard um, compared to like the linen which is uh, used for the call for on Mirabilia you know the ones you get in the kits I say I get them in the kits from Hawkins hobbies what is the difference I would like to know but it's going to be interesting to stitch on this but I got it pretty cheap um, I got Tatiana Queen of Fairies it's the MD38 I was afraid that she would might get you know out of print I don't know because she's an old one so I got her and oh I got myself a dimensions kit from eBay Santa snap I mean seriously can I turn it this way <gasps> look at those puppies oh my god they're so cute when I saw this I was like I have to have it who doesn't want to stitch he even looked like my dad you know <laughs> oh and even the kitty is up there. No, it's so cute. And just like shortly after I had ordered this, um, I was watching, uh, you know, Kyle Reckemeyer's Stitching in Sound. He was going through, you know, he was having a kit parade. And before he showed this, he was like, oh, it's so cute. No, 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 no. I was like, oh, it has to be Santa's nap. And he's like pulling it up. I'm like, yeah, I knew it. Very nice. And the company I bought it from was so nice to to add a little extra kit. So sweet. When my daughter saw this she was like hmm maybe I should get started on cross stitch and I'm like what yes you do <laughs> anyway let's continue and one of the blackbirds I don't like a lot of blackbirds but there are some I like a lot and I've been watching and eyeing it I'm like no 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 I'll wait I'll wait but then I decided to just go get the blackbirds you want. And that is Midnight Watch. Love, love, love. Oh, I love it. Who's afraid of the big black cat? We are. That's who. Isn't it sweet? 
Oh, did I put it on? Oh, very nice. I love this one. And you know, Halloween themed. Yes. And I got a Plum Street sampler. Ugly sweater weather. <laughs> so cute. There's also a series with these dogs. So you know who needs to get them all, but we're going to take it slow. But you know, ugly sweaters. L look at those sweaters. Oh my God. And we have, you know, some friends and they have two of these dogs. And I'm like, you know, I should stitch this one for them, but I won't make it up before Christmas. So another time, but very sweet. Um, what else? Yes. Excuse me. Uh, sampler September. And I love Hands Across the Sea samplers. So, Crinkle Crank Girl. Oh, I can't. I can't talk. I needed this. It is Rosa Sugars. 1881. Do you guys know how old she was when she stitched this sampler? Four. Four years old. Oh my god. When I saw that, I was like, well, I have to have it four years old. So pretty. If you want more information about the sampler, head over to, to Nicole Apartments um, floss tube and she will tell you all about this. And you know, the format, format was really nice. Uh, I like the big booklets more, I think, but I think this is um, going to be easier to work with. You know me, I'm like, the bigger the better. I'm just saying. Okay, we have another Plum Street sampler here. Mermaid Fractures. Because you all know, I don't like mermaids. I don't like them at all. But all of a sudden, I love them. All the Mirabilias and the Bella Filipina and now this. But I really like it. It has like caught my eye so many times and the ring light is like such a pain in the butt but um it has caught my eye so many times i'm like okay i'm just i'm just gonna get it so um it says here did you know that the little mermaid was written by hans christian andersen we all know that right but the story was published in 1837. Did you know that? Well, now you know. My favorite story when I was a kid. And here we have another Mirabilia. It's the garden party. Before, it wasn't like anyone which I was like eyeing all the time but all of a sudden I just realized the detail in those dresses and those lamps I'm like why the heck didn't I get it before now I have it and here we have it's the shipwreck siren siren in the shipwreck and she is very pretty very very pretty what <laughs> i was a little bit like why is she swimming with like a crystal lamp like that does she even know how heavy those lamps are but then i'm like well you know use your imagination a little bit and i'm like well maybe she was at the bottom of the ocean where titanic was i'm just saying And everything slides off my bed because they're in plastic bags. 
Stay put, please. Oh my God. Let's see. I think, yeah. <clears throat> I couldn't resist. I've showed you this one before. It's the first Bella Filipina I have fallen in love with. I didn't like Bella Filipina that much before. I don't know why they just didn't speak to me. Um, but all of a sudden I saw someone stitch it on floss tube or if it was, you know, on Facebook or something. And I'm like, wow, she is, oh, she's very pretty. Her face is very pretty. And then I realized there's quite a lot of beads in there and there's a lot of this and this and that. And I'm like, hmm. So I got it. And then I started kidding it up myself. And then I had some trouble with the Krennic. And then I went to Hawkins Hobbies and saw that you actually get, in this pack, you get the fabric. So I couldn't resist. So now I have like almost stitched up, kitted up. What's her name? Enchantress of the Abyss. But then I have the whole I really want to start it. You want to look inside? Please say yes, please, please, please. I haven't opened it. I haven't opened it. So we have the DMC threads. It's really stupid to get the DMC threads because I, I probably have them all, but I like kits, you know, I like, I know I have all the stuff here and I, Look, look at that fabric. <laughs> it's the ocean rich, ocean, ocean, ugh. ocean rich. It's Belfast linen, 32 count. Hmm. We'll see how it's going to be with the beads, but it's crafty kitten. And even though she's having big problems right now, you know, her fabric is really nice. You know, I have to give her that, you know, Hold. she you know I don't know what's happening but she has been great I mean very nice and helpful and I love her dyeing I love her fabrics but oh my lord it looks very blue in the viewfinder but I would say it's a little bit more green teal and you see brownish grayish a lot not in real life but she is going to look so pretty on this yeah oh my back is hurting and we have yum 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 we have granite oh it looks so nice and we have the the water lilies, water lilies, water lily, water lilies, water. Never mind. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh, it matches my my shirt. And we have beads. And we have treasures and we have big beads and we have small beads and we have the bugle beads and we have it all. And that is why I love Bella Filipina. That is why I all of a sudden love so many of them. <laughs> oh my God, I'm doomed. <laughs> oh, that, that's going to be a haul for today. I, I still have some, but We'll take that the next time. Uh, it's old haul I've been getting, you know, and I just don't want to show too much haul at once. Um, so that's that. Um, 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 we should make some music of the word um. 
I'm just silly. So I think that's all for today. Yes, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the likes button, you know, hit the bell if you don't want to miss anything. But I understand if, you know, yeah, you know, let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. Have a nice day. Bye.